They call themselves concerned citizens who want justice to prevail. Friday, 12 November 2021, they held a procession to State House demanding that President Hagaende Echelema raise a motion to lift former President Edgar Lungu's immunity. Former UPND presidential campaign team member Venea Chombwa said Mr. Lungu is not above the law for him not to be subjected to investigations. We've, we've told the president to say in 2015 Mr. Edgar Lungu against the constitution of our land allowed his ministers to stay in office illegally, consuming taxpayers' money. Mama. Yes, yes. yes. When Kanyama Clinic has got no medicine, I think those are some of the, the things that we aligned in this petition to the president and we humbly know that His Excellency being a listening president on behalf of the people of Zambia will listen. Lastly, to my side, Mr. Eti Kalungu will not be the first one in this country. We had Mr. Shiluva's immunity being lifted and he was investigated. Yes. So why why won't Mr. Edgar Lungu's immunity be lifted today when there are issues bending behind him? So we want his immunity to be lifted as soon as possible. And UPND Lusaka District Information Publicity Secretary Matomola Likwanya says Mr. Lungu's immunity should be lifted to pave way for investigations in various alleged corruption cases. Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, Article 43, and amended in 2016, Article 98, does provide that the President can pass a motion in the National Assembly of removal of a former head of state. Therefore, our grounds that we are advancing today are that former President Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu has been mentioned in acts of terrorism. Yes, yes. Mm. Some Rwandan rebels testified before the courts of Rwanda that they were sponsored by former President Edgar Chagwarungu. Yes. We also hold the view that former President Dr. Edgar Chagwarungu abused institutions of governance, such as the DMOMU, the police, such as the courts. He is hopeful that the president will act on their demands. Answers on the illegal exportation of Mukura to Malaysia. Yes. They are demanding answers on the procurement of the presidential jet. Yes. Yes. They demand answers to the, to the fire tenders. Yes. Yes. The Zambian people are demanding answers to the recruitment of Chinese in the Zambia police service. Yes. The Zambian yes. people, they demand answers to the people that gassed the Zambian people. Yes. These answers can only be answered by the former head of state, yes. who is closely attached to these issues, such as the ANB scandal, yes. Yes. such as the building of the, the expired drugs. Yes. Yes. Therefore, we call upon the president because he's a listening president to listen to the pride of the Zambian people. However, some patriotic front members and other non-state actors have been opposing the move. I think it will be uncalled for, for parliament to take such an action or for people to call for such an action. I think you and me believe and understand that President Lungu has done the best he could for this country. So I want to call upon the Zambian people to understand that there has never been a time when a president the immunity is lifted and they win the case. Let's look at Chiruba's case. He was acquitted. Arabi's case. He was acquitted. Records indicate that two of Zambia's former head of state have had their immunity lifted, including Opia Banda in the year 2013 and the late Frederick Chiruba in the year 2002. Will former President Edgar Lungo become the next casualty? For now, we can only wait and see how President Ichilema will respond.